God. And then DRC, somebody new. Yeah, he plays both of those guys in the slots when he's in dollar. They'll blitz one of them off the left or the right and man them up. You got to pay attention to them when you're on offense playing against Dubby. Moss and Ocho Cinco don't have that playmaker ability active, so they're not as crispy as adjusting their routes. And then he has the gunslinger, his hometown hero, Donovan McNabb. Well, I mentioned that defense for Los. It's going to be tough against Dubby. Here's your scattering report. Brought to you by our good friends at Xbox. Yeah, for Los, it's hit hard on defense. One thing he is the best at, and we saw it earlier in this tournament, is clicking onto his defenders and laying big hits both in the run game and after the receivers make the catch. And remember, he added that two-hit power to all of his defenders, and he has Cam Chancellor, Sean Taylor, and Night Train Lane, who all can clap you and knock your block off. Well, what does Dubby have to do against tough Los? You need to take advantage of this opportunity if you're Dubby. You saw what happened with Rocky when Apollo Creed gave him a second chance. Dubby knows he has a second chance here, and he needs to leave it all out on the line. By just winning two more games in this tournament, he can clear well over $100,000 for the year. You don't get opportunities like that too often. Take advantage of it, Dub. Well, it's number three versus number 31. And Los, wearing those Tampa Bay uniforms, will kick it through the end zone, and that's where Dubby will start at the 25-yard line in those all-black, all-black everything. Los was almost going to troll Dubby. They're actually both Eagles fans, <laughs> even though Los was from Tampa, and he was saying, hey, I want the Eagles jerseys. <laughs> Eventually, Dubby talked him out of it. Get ready to see some fireworks, folks, here in game number two. As Dubby goes quickly. And you see that first play? Key to the game, Scott. Big hit. Dubby throws to the flat. Los immediately clicks onto the defender and hits him with one of those cut hits at the legs that could have caused the fumble. Los only gave up an average of 11.7 yards in the group stages. It's the second best defense overall. The ball is out. And Los has already got himself a turnover. I don't want to say I told you so, <laughs> but I told you Go so. He's the it. best in the world, potentially, at doing this. This is how he's always played defense in every Madden, is he lets you complete the passes, but there's traffic around there, and he's able to click on and clap you and make you pay. Yeah, he's built that secondary to cause turnovers. First and 10 now for Los after the turnover. And he finds Johnson down to the 22, second and two. Yeah, both of these guys like to air it out. And remember the stat, Los has yet to take a sack in this tournament. So it'll be interesting to see if Dubby's gonna be the one to solve that mystery and get some pressure on him. And Chris Ivory rumbles down to the 11. Just like that, Los is in business in the red zone. Scramble. And there's that Aaron Rodgers. You talked about he switched from Brady to Rodgers. Just wasn't getting the performance he wanted out of Brady. Yeah, he mentioned he had a couple overthrows with Brady that he wasn't too happy about, and then also wouldn't mind getting some more mobility, and that's what Aaron Rodgers gives you that Brady doesn't. Yeah, picked up five yards there. High point, Dallas Clark. And low strikes first. Wow. Happy birthday, Dubby. <laughs> and he, it's funny you say that because we were outside. I was outside with Los before this match started. Let me go in after this replay. A little high pass, Dallas Clark, corner, possession catch. Well done, Loso. But I was outside with them chatting before this game. I said, hey, I, I think Dubby was out late last night. What do you think of that? He said, I, it doesn't matter. But I'll tell you one thing. I got a, a birthday present for Dubby. I think he just gave it to him right there. He's got a touchdown lead. And Dubby after the turnover. Start the drive at the 26 yard line. That's what I was saying in the pregame. Some people at their birthday, this, Dubby's a guy that can overcome. <laughs> yeah. He, he can overcome a little hanging out. And slides there with McNabb at the 28. You talked about it pregame before we came on of how focused Dubby was. Oh yeah, we had a, we were taking a look at him up on the stage and he had this look in his eye. You would have thought he was Rocky Balboa himself, the way he was up there focused. Gotta get rid of it, oh. almost threw an interception. 
And look at Loaf playing with a lot of intensity, and that's what Loaf does. He doesn't talk a lot of trash before the match or after the match, but during the game, he's a passionate guy, Scott. Third and eight. At the 28, Dubby already feeling the pressure. Throws it. And Shot Taylor hit him as Cook hauled it in, and Dubby's got to go for it. And if you're at home, I really want you to pay attention to how good Los is at that one. The ball goes in the air. Watch how fast Los clicks onto the defender near the vicinity and tries to make a tackle or a hit. I haven't seen anybody this year better at that tactic than he is. Two yards a game, big fourth down for Dubby, trailing by a touchdown. This is huge, Coltrane, because Los is in field goal range if he gets this stop. Bunch to the left, McNabb. Oh, it's locked. As a man, and he'll haul it in at the 37. Nice find there by Dubby. Oh, that was a huge play by Dubby. He's looking locked up, and then he lets the corner route develop as Los needs to come down for the underneath stuff, gets a big chunk out of it. Huge play. Had a linebacker on a spy, and the user couldn't get out there. Goes to the running game. Doesn't run it too often, but he does have Ricky Williams. That looked like good run defense for most. He shot right through the A gap. His other defenders filled their gap assignments. Let's see how consistent that run he is, because it looks superb right there. Only averages 27 rushing yards a game. Dubby motions his flanker receiver. Goes right through the hands of Jared Cook. Start to get nervous when you throw it out there that either can be picked off or you're gonna catch a big time hit. Yeah, especially how fast he's moving on that ball. Los is rallying, and he comes from an era where stick work was important. It was probably one of the biggest yep. aspects of competitive Madden. So you best believe his stick work is gonna be on point out there in this game. Third and ten. We're going to have a big fourth down. It's worth noting with Lowe's, this is a guy that took some time off. So if you're sitting there, you're watching a little bit of the Madden Championship, you're thinking, man, I hadn't played in a couple years. Well, that's where this man was. Yeah. Next thing you know, he's in our final 16. That's a really good point, Coltrane, and that should be inspiring to all of those out there. And another thing is, if you haven't ever played competitive Madden, you take a year, you learn the formula of how to get good at it, and once you have that formula, it's something that doesn't go away. At that point, it's just about putting the time and effort to get yourself ready for a high-level play. So Dubby kicks a field goal, cuts the lead to four. Someone's humming over there. I think it's Dub. Maybe you heard our comments about his singing. Well, once, once, one, one, once, just keep it in the hum this yeah, time. did us a favor, switched it up. <laughs> Some shade. It's a rare best. shade from RG. Goes to Johnson. And a big time hit there by Harrison Smith. It's a pickup of five. Yeah, W laying ahead of his own right there, looking to cause a fumble. He's no slouch on he's no slouch on defense. He's got some goons out there as well. Play action. Quick throw, Dallas Clark. Already been a big part of this one. The touchdown grab picks up 14. Yeah, and just so you know, Coltrane, Dubby has Jalen Ramsey, Harrison Smith, and Sean Taylor all fully capable of laying big hits there in the secondary as well. Rodgers up the sideline. Randy Moss shakes a tackler. And a great pass leads him down to the 12. And Loso telling him, I got so many dots out here. And as you see right here, dots on your dome. That was Loso's old gamer tag, and for good reason. So he's inside the red zone. 12 yards to go. Finds Dallas Clark. And that works it down to the five. Aaron Rodgers, six for six. Six for six for 84 yards. Prolific offense by Loso, good reads, and this is a statement drive trying to get him for six to keep it a two to make it a two possession ball. I have four. There's Chris Ivory, and he always falls forward this time to the one. And here's a little tempo, RG. Yeah, that 82 overall goal, Chris Ivory. You got to think Loso's gonna go right back to him here. And the play actions it. And Rodgers will lose four. I do not understand that play call, Coltrane. First down on the one yard line and we take a sack? His first of the tournament. 
Taking it to the second quarter, and that was, Blos knows that was a mistake. Well, I know it. Guys that get paid to do this goes by the name of Pete Carroll. <laughs> Maybe should have ran it from the one. No, I thought the play call was just fine. <laughs> RG, of course, a unbiased opinion as a Patriots fan. Second and goal. Breaking news, RG's a Patriots fan. Hands it off to Ivory. And he gets back to the one, so here we go, third and goal. He goes tempo. This is big. Dubby, Loaf made a mistake, and Dubby needs to capitalize on it. This is how you get your momentum back if you dump dot. What a hit! Big time hit. Absolutely huge. And this might force the field goal. And this is how you win football games. That's a user. Scott, that's a user stop. Is you make your opponent pay for their mistakes. Loaf with a terrible play call on first down, and Dubby makes them pay for it. Way to get yourself back in the game, Dub Dot. That was only an 80. Overall, James Bradbury. Take a look at this again, RG. Huge play by Dubby. And this is all user. Look at Bradbury right through the gap. Hit stick. Dubby stops him. Field goal does make it a touchdown game, but hopefully Los won't be looking back at that failure to get one yard. It's a bad play call. You heard him talking to himself after it, too. He immediately knew he messed up. Oh, my gosh. Look at these hits. He's all over the place. Second and nine after the gain of one. Well, it's not a bad idea to add that big hitter chemistry, huh? That gave all his players on his defense plus two hit power. Good use of chemistries right there. We've seen Volt use the speed boost to his advantage with Chris Johnson. And once again, another chemistry coming into play, but this time for that man, Los. Yeah, he is all over the receivers at the point of the catch. Not a lot of rack catch. Trailing by a touchdown, just throws one up, one-handed grab. It looked like an overthrow that Ocho Cinco was able to haul in. It's a big play from Dubby. Look at this again, RG, wow. Ooh, good stick work. Did you see how Dubby clicked on, stopped? It was a bad throw, it was an overthrow that was behind him. Dubby made it happen, though. Look how fast Los makes adjustments. McNabb has some room. This time he's not spied, and he'll slide down at the 38-yard line. The middle of the field wide open on that one, Coltrane, and I want to see that from these guys that are using McNabb. You pay a higher cap for him because of his speed. You might as well use it when the defense gives, it, gives you an open lane like that. And Los had been spying him in the middle. This time, bailed out, and a good job by W recognizing. Looking downfield, he'll throw it short. <laughs> nice oh. spin move. Puts him in the spin cycle. A little fabric softener and he moves it. Look at this crispy spin move, Coltrane. Splits the defenders. Looking like he's gonna get tackled. Whoopsie, <laughs> use a spin. Nasty. But a big hit by Lowe's after the spin. Ball at the 22, just outside of the red zone. Trailing by a touchdown. 2.30 left in the first half here of game number two. Volterax has already moved on. Yeah, the swerve bot, as you like to call him. Yeah. He did engage, but most of it was on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> Second and eight. Ball to 20. Probably going to take this to the two-minute warning here, Scott. It's a big part of these guys at this level, RG, is... Recognizing the situation in the clock. Blah, up, we saw we Volt maybe blow waver up. a little bit in that fourth quarter in our earlier game. This time, Dubby knows wants to leave as little time possible for Lowe's to be able to answer. Yeah, and Dubby's a veteran. He's smart. He's mature. You don't expect him to make mis clock management mistakes. But Lowe's is also a veteran, and we've already seen him a, mis a mistake from him on the goal line that potentially cost him four points because he had to settle for the field goal instead of being able to get it in from the one. Something about single elimination. He forced that one in there. That's hot, boy. That's hot, boy. He clicked on to Lonnie Ballantyne and tried to pick that off. And that's one of the problems. You got Lonnie Ballantyne out there. He's a good player uh, when you user control him, but 
he's a very low overall. It's going to be hard for him to make plays like that. You know when I'm mixing. You know when I'm he's mixing. He's what we call a tank player, Scott. Busting some rides and then like busting it up the gut mixing. for a touchdown. Look at Dobson. Looks That's up to the boys. sky. Give me that shit back. That's all we need. A little profanity. And I'm blowing up. It's a good blowing run by Dobby. Avoids the first tackle. Blowing right up. up the gut. And that's that Ricky Williams. He was thinking about Come dropping on, that Sean. Ricky Williams to save some cap. Come on, Sean. But he couldn't get rid of him. And you hear Come Dobby on, calling Sean. for Sean. What he's calling for is Sean Taylor. The grizzly safety that's known for laying big hits and forcing fumbles. The best safeties of all time from the university of Miami 10 to 10 we thought it would be a close one and it is Dallas Clark calls forward for the first down and ironic enough <laughs> Sean Taylor Dallas Clark goes right at Sean Taylor Sean not able to come on right there doesn't lay a big hit He's got Clark Johnson and Nick Hopkins on the right Rogers tries to fit it into Nuke can't haul it in. First incompletion of the game for Los. Yeah, and he needs to be careful here, Coltrane, passing the ball as much as he does. If he's not able to pick up first downs, he might end up giving Dubby the ball back with plenty of time for Dubby to make something happen before the half. Second and 10. Throws it to Nuke. And Hopkins just shy of the first down. Third and one. And some more tempo with 115 remaining in the half. Quick throw. Easy first down. Fights his way to the 43 is Dallas Clark. That was good tempo from Loso. Hurried up to the line. Quick hike caught Dubby on his defensive lineman. That prevents Dubby from lurking any of the routes. Makes life a lot easier for the offense when you can do that. Two timeouts each for both of these competitors. What a call. Chris Ivory on the delay picks up three and Dubby will burn a timeout. Well, that Chris Ivory, he'll fall forward, but he's not going to get on his horse too often. That's the 82 overall gold Thanksgiving version of that item. There's the heat. Gets That's rid of it. Reed. And it's picked off. It's a user lurk. And I believe that was DRC in the middle. You talked about him using DRC, and he does it here. Yeah, most people are usually controlling a linebacker. Dubby controlling the very agile DRC, which let the, lets him work that middle of the field like a maniac because he can cover so much ground. And you heard Mo say it under his breath. That was a good lurk. McNabb takes off, slides down at the 35-yard line. Does have one timeout. Dubby's looking like he's getting comfortable. Dubby did get the ball first. Los will get the ball to start the second half. Important drive here for Dubby. It's motion in Moss. So that's Volterax's move. Picked up the blitz perfectly. Throws it into triple coverage. And a nice knockaway. That was a user swap from Joey Bosa. <laughs> What? <laughs> Dubby picks up the blitz perfectly and then just chucks it straight into triple coverage. Second and ten. Of course, he was only bringing three as Bosa had peeled off. You got to watch these underneath routes and then the deep post route going over the middle. This time he throws it up. That's Randy Moss at the 43. And you heard Los go, you swerve me? Swerve me, bro? Los not ready for it. So now if you're Los, you got to know Dubby has that in his arsenal. And you better be prepared to click on and move your defender to that ball landing spot. 22 seconds to go in the first half in a tight game. Dubby's out of timeouts. Los has two. Still not in field goal range. He does have Justin Tucker. Are you sure about that? <laughs> There's a couple more yards. McNabb That's hot, boy. to the sideline. Wow. Hauls it in at the 14, but doesn't get out of bounds. 10 seconds to go. Oh, the clock's ticking, Scott. This is the time you want to, he's going to kick the field goal here, RG. Hot, 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 hot. And I'm not sure you wanted to call time out there. He was going to kick the field goal. He still is. Okay. He knows how That's important hot, these wow. three points are. That was huge for Duppy seeing how Lowe's is going to get the ball at halftime. That was a big way to get yourself back in the game after having a poor first drive.
and Dub Dog Dubby has all kinds of momentum. And surprise, surprise, we got a one score, a one possession ball game going into the second half. You knew this one was going to be close. Dion spins his way. The interception by DRC by Dubby leads to three points. Yeah, that was a huge play. And we saw Dubby make a similar mistake in group play where you kind of get too aggressive sometimes in those two minute drill type offenses. You know you got to get downfield in a hurry, and sometimes that'll force you to make an unlikely read like Los did. Well, that's how the half will end. Dubby getting jazzed up, knowing that he was able to get back in that one as it looked like Los might run away with it. He was down there on the one yard line, RG. Got sacked, his first time he'd been sacked all tournament. Next thing you know, here comes Dubby. Yeah, and Dubby, I mean, you can tell the kids from Philadelphia, his favorite movie must be Rocky, because he refuses to go away anytime you think he's down and out. Both of these guys are not going to quit, and we got ourselves a treat in this second half. I guarantee you. Time for a little halftime break with my main man, Dave. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, RG. Appreciate it. Rico, a pretty solid first half there. Dubby may be back to his old self here. Absolutely. That first half went exactly the way you thought it would. Came out, bang, first time, fumble. Lowe's delivered the big hit. Dubby took it, kept going. They traded blows back and forth. Up three, but Lowe's gets the ball back in the second half. This game is everything we thought it would be and a little bit more. Yeah, great job hanging in there after the early turnover. Turnover is really the story in this opening half, and they went both ways early. Uh, you'll see right here. Yeah. Started out in a tough situation here. Flat pass, big hit. That happens for you. He scoops on it, and then Los is able to turn that into the first points of the game. But Dubby had some really good defense. Holds Los to the fumble. That was crucial. And then just before the half, you saw it, the DRC pick across the middle. Los says that one's on him. Both these players in a very, very tight match. Lowe's going to get ball at half, so this opening drive, huge. Yeah, we see defense already becoming a huge factor in the first half of this one. Now, in addition to being some of the best players in the world, we have some of the biggest characters in the world here in this final 16. Let's take a closer look at that. Funniest person in the tournament? Probably Dubby. Dubby's like corny, but he's the most comedic. Dubby? Just, he just makes a lot of funny faces during the game. Let's go with Sirius Ma. I like the way he gets up and dances sometimes, so I find that pretty entertaining. Oh, well, I'm the most comedic. I, I mean, you know, I don't even think anybody else is mad and is funny. The biggest social media butterfly is probably Dubby. He's always posting, like, just about every other second joke. He's always on there, you know, stirring up some, some Madden stuff. Dubby is really active on Twitter, and, uh, you know, he makes a lot of good posts, and he's entertaining to follow. Dubby. Dubby. Oh, Dubby, he never shuts up. Mo has a lot of the good one-liners uh, on Twitter, but Dubby, Dubby's really interactive with everyone, and he, he kind of takes shots at people, too, so. I'm winning a lot of awards now. I'm a social butterfly. You know, I love Twitter, I love Instagram, I love feeding back with people in the community. Rico, <laughs> some of the best, right? Yes, W definitely may be one of the funniest people in the Madden community, but his game is no joke. It's actually rather serious, Mo. Oh, man. Well, in the second half, we're going to see just how serious he gets. Hopefully the jokes improve, but we will remind you guys that if you are looking for tips and tricks to up your Madden game, you should follow Madden Ultimate Team on Twitter at EA Sports underscore Mutt. We are in the middle of a really, really good back and forth matchup right now, but coming up next, it is Bugs against Silent Soldier. Two of the quietest guys in the community, but also two of the best. As for right now, Drea is on the sidelines with Dubby. Thanks so much, Dave. Dubby, what stood out to me in the first half, the goal line stand gave you the momentum. What did you think of the boost that that was able to give you being so stingy at that point? James Bradbury stood up. Chris Ivory, everybody <laughs> hate on Bradbury. They don't think he's a man, but he's really a budget player. I love Bradbury. And you know, I'm, I really pride myself in being able to, you know, Forget about the pass. I fumbled the second play of the game. Mm -hmm. And that's a big turning point when you get ball first to fumble. But, you know, I really seriously pride myself in being able to forget about it, move on, and continue to play a good game. I played a decent game. I got away with a couple little tight throws. But, you know, that's what I need. Well, happy birthday weekend. I know your birthday was yesterday. I haven't talked to you about this yet, but word on the street. You went out last night. How were you able to bounce back from a hard night out and come and play this way so far in the first half? 
Oh, I told Boogs, <laughs> Boogs text me at 7 a.m. I said, just bring me a juice. I'm not going to wake up to the last minute. Because last night I went out with uh, Strafen and Mark yep. Dog and Mark Dog. So, you know, it got a little dark last night. But, you know, we're here today and we're ready to compete. And, you know, it's it's the process that, you know, won me a belt. So, you know, I'm not going to change that at all. You know, trust the process. You know. No doubt. Well, yeah, I talked to Mark a little bit about it. And overall, just tell me about this dubby vibe on stage. You seem to really be settling in. The tongue was out. You were singing again. I know Scott and RG, you know, they love your tone here on stage, even though it's in a different key. What is this sudden death dubby like right now? I mean, you can't think about it too much. You know, the music be- going out. Yes. You can, if you think about it too much, I mean let it go you know so we're all, we're already you know living the life out here we're already up you know you're playing with house money nothing to lose out here there, you go. there you go well best of luck in the second half thank you baby all right let's send it to scott and rg all right <laughs> well you know at 7 30 i watched will of fortune and went to bed <laughs> well here's the thing boogs has had everybody juicing here on this trip and i'm not talking hgh to scott we have been having wow. some bomb smoothies get well, your life right gravy Brady life. closer to you come on dog chill we got a good game here. We thought it would be. I mean, Los is playing uh, amazing. Dubby got a little second life coming out of that group stage. Thought he might get eliminated. I think since then he knew, hey, if I get into single elimination, this is where I play well. Yeah, absolutely. And single elimination, we talked about it. This is a different kind of animal. It's so much pressure. And on top of that, you know how much is on the line. It's literally like I've already guaranteed myself $10,000. If I win this game, I could put 10000 in the bank and still go on a $10,000 shopping spree. You start thinking about those kind of things, and it gets hard to stay very focused on the game, but you could tell from Dubby's interview with Drea, he looks ready to rock. All right, time for the little second half action. We got a three-point game. That on, man on your right from Philadelphia has got a field goal advantage, but doesn't have the ball to start the second half. And he's done a good job so far of taking advantage of the opportunity. He had some things that didn't go his way. He fought through the adversity, and now he finds himself in the second half, starting it up three. Goes Chris Ivory here to start the half, has some room. And there is Bradbury, perhaps saving a touchdown. Yeah, that Bradbury, Dubby talked about him. He's a good corner and a good budget player. He probably should be more capped than he is. He's 80 overall. He has 91 speed. He's a cornerback that can hit, and he's also six foot one, so he has a good wingspan to get to the ball. First and 10. Ball to 35. Moss will move across the formation. And Ivory shakes a few tackles, only gains one. Yeah, and this is good preparation from Lowe's. Unfortunately for him, though, his back's not that good with Chris Ivory. We saw Mills have a lot of success versus Dovey on the ground. Mills looks, uh, Lowe's looking like he's trying to take a page out of Mills' playbook there, but Ivory just doesn't have the speed to break one. Second and eight. Rodgers has time. And that was... Yeah, they talked about superlatives. That was the, one of the ugliest passes I've seen in the tournament. And it was a bad read by Loso. He had the B-wide receiver getting open on the crossing route right before he threw that. Unfortunately for him, he missed it. It's good defense. Chad Johnson pulls it in at the 37. And that's, and that's a good throw, and that's why you go and get these 99 overall wide receivers, Coltrane. You see this Chad Johnson able to make the catch and hold on to it after the hit. That's what those high-rated receivers will do for you. First and 10. Ivory. Here's Dubby Collin. From oh. Eubanks. Well, Darius Eubanks. That's another budget guy. 64 overall silver item. Yeah, 15 cap, as cheap as can be, but he is able to make plays. He's big with speed and hit power. Audible in the gun here. And second and 11, trips to the left. Quick throw, and there's Nuke Hopkins. From where? Houston Texans, Clemson. Clemson University, right uh, right. You know I know Clemson just because <laughs> up here with Coltrane. Just because I'm obsessed, is that the word we can use? Pass to the outside of Clark. Almost picked up by Frank Clark. Look, Clark on Clark action. (laughs) And I like Dubby's 
response right there. He got stroked. It looked like it could have been an interception. Uh, it could be frustrating, but instead of getting frustrated, he knows that he's starting a box low up, and he could, he's, you know, a few inches away from being able to make a play and get a bunch of momentum, but that's not going to do it right there as Loso the God answers back in the second half with a prolific drive, Coltrane, and gets himself seven. Big time grab by DeAndre Hopkins. And the extra point will make this a four point game and seven, eight plays, 75 yards coming out, burning about two and a half minutes. It's it, just what Los needed. Yes, and it becomes easier to hit that spot in between the flat and the deep zone, especially on that goal line, because these players like to start playing hard flats in that situation, which means the flat route's gonna stay closer to the line of scrimmage and let the receiver get behind them. That's what we saw right there. That was a good read by Loso, good execution. Now he's gotta play some defense. Let's see if Dub Dot can respond. So first and 10 for the Madden Bowl champ. Looking to take his winnings to six figures, if he can get the dub. Two, two wins away from six figures, Scott. This win would put him about $92,000, where he's only eight grand away. Yeah. But if he gets the win after that, he's guaranteed himself $35,000. So he'll be well over six figures with two wins. Well, but this win gets him close. In Orlando and Houston, once he got rolling in the single elimination, he was tough to stop. That's a good point. He's a streaky player once he gets hot. And that's what we talked about, giving him a second life. Not a good idea. Trailing by four, he'll just throw it away. So here comes a big third and eight for Dubby. Yeah, I didn't have much open on that last play. It's going to be a big one, Scott. Got Moss to the left. Chad Johnson to the right. Watch this deep cross route right there. McNabb is going to take off looking for the first down. It's going to depend on the spot, and they will move the chains. Wow, what a play by Donovan. Lowe's not having the spy out there. Dubby takes advantage of it, and that's why you go get yourself a legend McNabb at the QB helm. So first and 10, ball at the 40 now. Dubby trailing by four. McNabb, quick throw. And there's Cook. And Jared Cook was big for Dubby in the group stages. I know he only went one and two, but Cook was one of his primary targets. Yeah, and you saw him. He's able to get him open with good route combinations. He had two deep crossing routes going over the top that Lowe's had a guard. And then you have Cook sneak in under that drag route. You can't really account for him. So that's a good route combination to get him involved by Dubby. Same play again. Just a minute left in the third. Throws it downfield. This is in the coverage and almost picked off by Night Train Lane. Los can't believe it. Yeah, and if you're low, so this is why you need to go and get that tip drill ability active. Had the tip drill ability been active for Los right there, that's intercepted by Night Train Lane 100%. Yeah, he does have the chemistry, but you mentioned chose not to use his cap to activate. Here comes a screamer. Just got rid of it. Dion got loose. Uh-oh, and it's big play time right here. Fourth and three in his own territory. Dubby's got to respond here, Scott. We got a big one. Biggest play in the game thus far. Needs three yards here on fourth down. If you're low, so you got to watch the scramble for McNabb. Able to pick up the blitz. Passes it down the field. Needed three, and he went for 30. I didn't really like that route combination from Dubby, but what a lot of players like to do in that situation is you get someone in fourth and short, you figure they're going to play the short stuff underneath, and you try to hit them for a home run play. But there's some risk with that. As you can see, and Loso's got him wide open, Coltrane. Chad Johnson down to the seven-yard line. Wide open. Look at it again, RJ. You can't let him get out of the pocket with that much time, Dubby. And look at Loso doing the Undertaker. He's feeling that dot. It's a big seven yards here. Dubby's got a hold in the three. Los can make it a two-score game. If you're Los, you have to run the ball so you can take this to the fourth quarter. There is Ivory and Ivory down to the one-yard line. Yeah, you 
best believe this is going through the fourth quarter, Coltrane. Absolutely. And that's what he'll run it. Hands off the controllers. Look at Moso rocking the button up while he plays Madden. You remember his epic rant. Drea asked him why you dress so nice, Lowe's. Said, I'm a grown man. He might have thrown an F-bomb or two in there. Maybe. So five minutes to decide one of these guys' fates. And he's got one yard to gain on second and goal. Dubby needs another goal line stand. Look at all that beef in the middle. High formation for Rodgers, and there is some sneak defense. No, sir. There's the beef right there, Coltrane. Dubby already gotten stingy here once. Uh-oh. Look at that. Three Grizzlies all ready for the sneak. Los is going to power all this one. Dive. Goes to Ivory, and he stood Whoa. up. You got to take the three. I don't know, Coltrane. Ooh, you got to take the three, it's my man. It's decision time. He's going to make it a touchdown ball game. I, I understand that if you're Loso, but you had a chance to get all kinds of momentum, make it two possessions, and Dub Dub Dubby stands up for himself again, and he will not go away. That's twice That's he's taken the ball to the one. Only getting That's six points. Hey, we said take advantage of the opportunity, on, and that just shows that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. Your back's against the wall, you're on your goal line, but instead of giving up, you don't give an inch, you keep on fighting, and Dubby gets rewarded for it. So 427. Sounded like Mills talking about the bad nickel. <laughs> Mills, that was a fun competitor to watch. Him and Dubby had a great game in groups. Really entertaining. Shout out to Bandana Mills. Needs 80 yards to tie this thing up with 427. He's been in this situation before. Swings it outside, makes a man miss, but Lonnie Ballantyne with a big time hit at the 28 yard line. Yeah, there you go, Dubby. Even though he took a big hit, needs to watch out for those, but he has plenty of time here. It's only one possession, no need to panic. Hands it off, picks up the first down. Hey, that's what you do. That's what you do when you got short yards to gain. Don't throw 30 yards, move the chains. Yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's hard, Coltrane, to get big chunks of yardage, and it's frustrating, uh, you know, just thinking and dunking down the field. So when you see that opportunity to catch someone off guard, sometimes you just can't help it but take the shot. Talked about it at the top of the matchup. Los, the second ranked defense. Only giving up 148 passing yards a game. And that's impressive that he's able to play defense that well with a passing attack as good as he is. But I guarantee you some of that defense has to do with how good he is at hitting these receivers after they make the catch. It caused a lot of turnovers in the group stage. Throws it up. Get your swerve on at the 30. Dummy's in business. And Dubby wanted that to be a touchdown, but again, look how quick Los clicks onto the defender, steers himself back away from the swerve, and is able to make the tackle at the point of contact, which can often result in an incomplete pass. Ball to 30. Quick throw. Has some room, and now he's down to the 11. If you score here, RG, you played a lot of men. Do you go for two? No. Are you that savage yet? No, 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 absolutely not. If you're W, you're just looking to get a touchdown, tie the ball game, and play some defense. Go for two. What type of animal are you? A single elimination. And this is dub dot W we're talking about, my man. <laughs> dub W is dotted all the way up the field right now, that's for sure. First oh, that's open. takes off. You've got to be careful with the quarterback. Oh, yeah, and almost a fumble. He had the B wide receiver break towards the corner, had a step. But W under pressure, not able to get the pass off. Joey Bosa, second and nine, 35 seconds to the two-minute warning. He's going to try to motion Johnson, snap it, and then watch him break right out there to the back of the end zone. Had a man underneath, and he's playing with fire right now. Well, the problem was he tried to run the same play that he ran the play before where it got open, but Lowe saw it got open, made the adjustment, and guarded it himself. We got a big play here, Coltrane. Third and ten. Dubby needs a touchdown. Throws it to the end zone. And now it's fourth down. You got to go for it. Uh, he had the flat wide open. Unless you're confident in your defense, I think he's going to go for it here. This is a tough decision you for You need Dubby. three at some point, whether it's now 
into regulation, overtime. I think I, yeah. I'm giving, he's going to go for if it. If I'm W, you got the timeouts. I'm going for this. I'm giving myself two chances. But he's going to stay confident in his <laughs> defense. Wow. Wow. Makes it a four-point game. Well, if you hold lows to a field goal, you do it all over again. Oh, and in the red zone, things have been extremely stingy thus far in this game. That's about a third or fourth red zone breakdown that we've seen today. Four-point game, 2.05 on the clock. This is what the Madden Championship's all about right here, Cole. I'll tell Frank. you what, that was a huge touchback because now the two-minute warning comes into play. Wow. That's a really good point, Coltrane. That two-minute warning is precious in this situation for Dubby. He needs to save all the clock he can get. Look at him focus. This is what it's all about here, Coltrane. Guap drives for Loso. Getting snuggy with it on first and ten. Quick throw, Dallas Clark. Takes a big hit, gonna depend on the spot. No, they're gonna go ahead and give him a first down. And Lowe's not scared to pass there because he knew the clock was gonna stop no matter what with the two minute warning. So that was actually a smart move by Lowe's. Back to Clark and Dubby will use his first time. Two now for Dubby. Yeah, and in a second and short situation, a first down can do wonders for Loso right here. Second and two. Got to think Dubby's going to sell out to try to stop this run. Look how close the goons all are. Los Audible going to the air. Quick throw. Ivory takes a big hit from Harrison Smith, and now it's third and two. What a rageful hit from Harrison Smith. Huh? That Chris Ivory's got to be careful. He's only an 82 overall, and that's a 97 overall. Geeked up Harrison Smith. Watch for Dallas Clark on this third and two. Throws it low wow. with Chad Johnson. Might have just made the play of the day for Los. So Los is going to be able to take a minute 30 off of the clock if he just knees it out the rest of the time. That would leave W with about 15 seconds to get something done, not counting the punt. Los is going to run the ball here instead of take a knee. This is risky because he could fumble. And Ivory able to regain his balance. Well, he beat True Boy by one. And now he's got Dubby with a four point lead in the ball. And running the ball, one thing it does for Lowe's instead of kneeing it is it kills the clock. And he's going to fall for the first down. And Carlos Yancey Jr., he took a step back, but now he's back in full throttle. And you see the emotion of Dub Dot Dubby. He is devastated, but he should keep his head up, Coltrane. He had a fantastic season. He's one of the most beloved Madden players in the community. But he ran into a phenom and Los, who came to the Madden Championship to play. Old school is not dead yet, Coltrane. Dubby won $87,000 this year. Won the Madden Bowl, but went one and two in the groups and really never looked crisp. Had his chances, and he sees his chances slip through his fingers. And that man right there, Los. Respect for each other right yeah. there. Dubby shakes his hand, says he's had a lot of respect for Los. Los has a lot of respect for Dubby and everything he's done this season. Two world-class players put on a phenomenal match, and the Los story continues, Coltrane. Number 31 out of 32. Not calling him a Cinderella, though. This is a guy that's tried and true, came back, didn't even know if he was going to make the 32. I mean, he's watching the selection show, gets in, and he's made noise. He's won four straight. Yeah, and he has a lot of momentum going forward. A lot of players said he looks tough, and you don't want to get matched up against him, and you can see why. He is somebody I would not want to see in my bracket moving forward. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Trey, I take it away. Thanks so much, Scott. Los, congratulations. You had some huge conversions. What was the key to just the nerves of steel down the stretch there? Hey, man, I'm the best out here, man. I'm back. So that's what you want to let the Madden community know. I mean, we had a historic interview last week. You told me that you needed some respect on your name. Do you think you got closer to getting that today? I'm going to get it Sunday. Don't worry about that. I got a message for W. He did some slimy stuff on the club series. I ain't forgot about it. I owe him that. It's one more person out here I need to see. And who's that person? 
You'll see. Keep winning. He'll get to me. <laughs> Let's circle it back to Dubby real quick. I know you have a lot of respect for him overall. What can you say just about his competitive nature and what he brings to Madden? Oh, Dubby tough. He definitely tough. Like I said, he he he, he was talk competitive. It was a hell game. I thought it was going to be a little uglier, but he, he was fighting. He was fighting. <laughs> no doubt. Well, as we turn to Dubby, Dubby, tough loss for you. What's the biggest thing you would have changed in the fourth quarter? Um, Done I, differently. I, uh, fourth and two call. Mm -hmm. I called verse. I thought he played corner strike, played more aggressive. He played good defense. Then I had a, just a terrible red zone, red zone uh, possession down there. Mm -hmm. That's all. You know, I looked to scramble rather than look to throw the ball because mm -hmm. I felt like I could. But, you know, it was just bad red zone down there. That, that's where the game's won and lost. You know, I held the no door. Doubt. I held the door twice on Chris Ivory. So, you know, I got to take advantage. And those two drives, of the, that one call, and then the, the red zone was bad, you know. But he played very well. What do you want to say just about Los as a competitor? He has a lot of reverence and respect for you. Well, I've said it in every interview. We all all consider Los as one of the top players that, to ever play Madden. You know, he's mm -hmm. a historic career in the game, you know, so it was an honor to play him. And he played very well, and I wish him the best of the luck the rest of the way. All right, well, best of luck moving forward. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, well, let's send it to Dave, Rico, and Zach. All right, thank you, Drea.